Hi everyone, I'm Akanksha Balani. I lead the Alliance for AWS for the region of APJ for Intel. And I also lead the global AI GTM strategy for team AWS. It's my pleasure to be here in front of you guys today. In the world we live in, what we recognize is when there is a technology that's accessible, that's consumable, and when the barriers of its adoption are low, this gives rise to a tremendous amount of demand. And through that demand rise various business models, various usage models, and ultimately opportunity. Cloud computing is one such opportunity and one such technology. And AWS continue to bend the curve on what seems possible. Another technology that's literally on that same path is AI. And the convergence of AI on cloud is literally transforming the way in which we live today. What we also recognize as technology providers at Intel is that these technologies require three things that Intel brings to the table. Number one, performance. Number two, performance. Number three, guesses? You got it right, performance. So the performance on AI, on cloud, is transforming businesses today. And the rest of my session, I will walk you through how and also walk you through use cases that hopefully you can apply in your organizations and your industry and take that to market to be more profitable, to be more scalable, and be a leader in adopting technologies like cloud and AI to make a difference for your customers. So let's get started. From an agenda perspective today, I will talk to you a little bit about the world of AI. I'll talk to you about the collaboration that Intel and AWS have in the world of cloud today. I will then talk to you about what Intel has to offer on the world of AI on cloud, and then talk to you about some exciting new technologies that are coming out and are available on AWS today. And last but not the least, we are going to also talk to you to how you can learn engage and innovate with a technology like AI on cloud with Intel. AI, transforming every industry as we know it. If you look at the slide, it is quite self-explanatory. Whether it's the consumer world, whether it's the healthcare world, whether it's finance, whether it's retail, data is upon us. Give you a little bit of a survey and a data point. By the year 2023, we are going to have 50 billion devices and 500 billion sensors smartly connected over the internet. 40% of these devices are going to communicate machine to machine. What does that tell you? The data and the deluge of data is upon us. Every industry is dealing with trying to figure out how this data is going to be valuable to drive the best kind of insights to help you build your products to help you build your customer experience and be ready for the future from a consumer needs perspective. When you're looking at a technology like AI that helps you drive insights for data, there are three things that you must keep in mind. Number one, the availability of use cases. Make sure that in the industry that you're working or you're providing, you need to have the right use cases that are going to help you with the right performance for that data to give you the insight. The second most important challenge or factor is purchasing power. Ensure that your customers as well as your organizations have the purchasing capability of adopting a technology like AI because it's a non-stop cycle. And number three is the quick reward that you will get from a product transformation perspective, from a business transformation perspective to build your future of business for your customers. So keeping those three factors in mind is going to help you regardless of which industry you work in by making sure that you know how to adopt AI, you know why you're adopting AI, and how you're gonna get those insights for your data that is available with you on a daily basis. I will talk to you a little bit more about that as we come along. I'd like to take a quick step back to tell you a little bit about the relationship that Intel and AWS have and have been enjoying really since the past 16 years. AWS continues to be Intel's 
most favorite leading CSP provider. And Intel continues to customize and purpose build its technology to be made available on Amazon EC2 today. So if you look at the circle of services that you have on the left side of the slide, you could see that whether it's Amazon EC2, which is their elastic compute offering, or it's Amazon S3, which is their storage, or the various workloads that you would probably be using on AWS's platforms for AI, for HPC, for IoT, for Edge, or even just migration of various databases like Oracle, like SAP, like Windows, like VMware. These are all powered by Intel. As I told you earlier, the performance of cloud is very critical for the fruition and optimization of these services for their customers. The compute that accelerates because of the Intel power below AWS actually makes this experience come to life. We have very common history as well as values of customer obsession. We also have great endorsements from both of our leaders. And in addition to the fact that we have collaborated since so many years, we also have a plethora of over 250 plus instances that are powered by Intel Silicon as well as technology to help you meet your global as well as workload needs. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go along. As I mentioned, we have over 200 Intel instances that are powering AWS, Amazon, EC2 today. And if you look at the various processors as well as product families, you can see that we actually have various processors and various technologies to help you with your application needs. So for all of you that are working more on general purpose compute, or you need more compute optimized instances, or you require instances that are more memory intensive or storage incentive or accelerated compute. We have a plethora of these services that are available to you on AWS. So if you look at the various processors that have supported and fueled Amazon EC2 today, you could see that we have a very significant journey from working on our workhorse, which is the Xeon processor that started with Haswell all the way to Ice Lake we have literally broken up each of the instances based on the applications and your application needs on AWS today. Whether it's general purpose and intensive uh, applications that you require, or it's computed, compute optimized applications, whether it's memory optimized applications, whether it's accelerated compute that you require, or it's storage that you require on cloud that requires compute acceleration, we have absolutely a custom built application and workload focus offering for you on Amazon EC2. Some really great highlights of last year is the fact that AWS actually nominated Intel as one of its leading select solutions as well as HPC competency partners, where we actually have purpose built, again, market ready solutions for genome as well as CFD sequencing available on AWS Marketplace today. We also announced our latest technologies on Amazon around compute as well as AI. The M5ZNs, the M6Is as well as C6Is have recently just been launched and will be helping you support all of those various types of applications and instances that you require. We also announced the DL1 instances, which are our Havana Gaudi powered instances that are going to be built towards making sure that you have the best and the fastest and the cheapest price and performance on GPU training on Amazon EC2 today. So all of these services really are transformational. Some great work that we've done with bushfire simulations on, in, in Australia, or even making sure that education stays uninterrupted during the pandemic are also some really, really great examples that we're very proud of in impacting lives with the power of technology, power of AI, as well as power of cloud with AWS. So if you remember the slide that I had with all of our instances where you had the purple block that said Ice Lake, I want to tell you a little bit about the features that we have on our Intel instance on AWS that actually make the optimizations as well as the journey to better price as well as lowest TCO as well as better performance actually come to life. 
So the iSlate processors, which are the C6i, the M6i, the R6i powered instances, provide you with a higher workload performance. They are de designed for reliability at scale. We also have the new crypto acceleration that are built onto our chip. We also have advanced security capabilities, as well as total memory encryption. So much so, and you can see the performance numbers there, you can see over close to 1.58 performance benefit over microservices and performance. You see a 40% boost using just our performance improvement numbers as well as topologies. And you also see a 1.42 performance boost from a core to core perspective per processor on your vCPUs. Really, it's about making sure that you are able to extract the features that lie under the instances that you are building your AWS services on that will help you through your journey of a lower TCO and the fastest performance that can be built on Intel and AWS. So Xeon, especially Ice Lake, will be your go-to instance for most of the workloads that we are talking about today. In addition to Ice Lake, which are our CPU-based instances on EC2, I mentioned briefly to you about the GPU instances that are now also available on EC2 today. And these are the Havana Gaudi processors. These are the new Amazon EC2 instances that are built specifically for ML training and are powered by up to eight new Havana Gaudi processors from Intel. These are absolutely poised to pro provide you and deliver to you 40% lower cost to train deep learning models over GPU-based instances that are existing today on AWS. These will also allow your customers to iterate and train models more frequently, and really also be able to help you get the benefit of the full stack of Amazon EC2 services, specifically for AI, which is the AWS DLEMIs, the DL containers, as well as leading ultimately to Amazon SageMaker. So if you want to get that experience of the best ML as well as training, inference as well as training experience, the combination of the Intel-powered CPU instances and the Intel-powered GPU instances, whether it's C6i or DL1, is going to get you to that journey of making sure AI really does what it needs to do for your use case, for your industry. Now that I've talked to you about the hardware goodness that we have, whether it's the CPU instances or the GPU instances on AWS EC2, let me tell you a little bit about the actual plethora of AI that Intel actually powers for each one of you. I touched on hardware, which is obviously the CPU instances, which are the Xeon powered instances, or the Habana powered instances, which are the DL1 instances. We also have the extended IoT or Edge AI hardware solutions that could be built into cloud, like the Nook devices or the Movidia sticks. Those are things that for you, if you're running NLP models or computer vision models, these would be really, really effective for you. But in addition to the hardware and the features that are built onto our chip, whether it's the deep, deep learning boost capabilities or the vector neural network instruction sets, or the AVX 512 instruction sets that help you do better parallel programming, we also have a whole lot of ecosystem that sits on top of the hardware that optimizes that hardware for you without you having to do it yourself. So moving up from our hardware, from a foundational layer, Intel has software that has been pre-optimized for Intel's hardware for the instances that you see on AWS today whether it's the Intel distribution of Python, or it's the Data Analytics Accelerator Library, or the DNN component of our math kernel libraries, or the work that we do with CLDNN. These are actually libraries that sit on your low-level model training platform as well as Cycle and help you pre-optimize these for your models. So we try to get a lot of plug and play effect and capability for you. If we move up, Intel also works with all the open source frameworks, whether it's PyTorch, whether it's MXNet, whether it's TensorFlow, and again, helps you by giving you access to the Intel optimized versions of all of these frameworks. 
this immediately gets you access to work that has already been done, where you can actually just focus on building your model, training your model, and then inferencing your model for AI. And then moving upwards, we also have a whole lot of developer kits like the OpenVINO toolkit or the deep learning developer tools that help you with use cases that will help you across various industries for data analytics and insight. But really, this entire stack that is available to you with the pre-optimizations built into the C instances or the DL1 instances or the M instances is about those use cases that are going to help you transform your business challenges, transform your experience for your customers, and transform your product journey. So working together collectively with the Intel as well as the AWS team, we can help you through that journey, optimize that journey for you, and help you with that TCO and the right data insight with a technology like AI on cloud. Specifically for machine learning, as well as for AI, these are actually my recommendations for you. So if you're looking at computer vision, if you're looking at machine learning and deep learning inference workloads, then your go-to instances should be the M5, the C5s, or the DL1 instances. So, and now with Ice Lake coming on board, you can also have access to the M6 size or the C6 size. If you have more memory optimized training models around CNN or BERT, then you wanna use the R instances and the R family of instances that are powered again by Intel. If you're looking at more higher level distributed deep learning training, if you're looking at higher network performance, um, especially that you require from single nodes, then you wanna look at the C5 instances or the C5N instances. If you have more machine learning applications that are lower in compute and require more deep learning inference applications, then use the T3 or the T3-5 instances as well. So all of these are all available on AWS. You can use the latest versions that are powered by Ice Lake. These are all completely available in region, in APJ. So make sure that you start to explore those, especially on your journey of machine learning. And for you that are using AWS powered services, whether it's DLAMI, whether it's SageMaker, these are quick data points to show you the performance boost you shall get from the Intel optimized hardware instances that are powering these specific services. So if you are using deep learning uh, AMIs, C5 is going to help you from a CPU training perspective by bringing up performance to 7.4x. If you look at, again, your journey of Intel CPU with DLAMI on AWS, you will see a 12x performance benefit just by basic pre-optimization that the Intel engineering teams have done along with AWS. And if you're looking at the whole blown experience of SageMaker, you will see both for training as well as inference, an increase of at least 10x performance benefit. Obviously, this is going to help you bring down the TCO for that specific AI application that you're building on. Even if you have extended or the applied AI services on AWS, whether it's SageMaker, whether it's recognition, whether it's forecast, whether it's comprehend or personnel, which are the extracted applied AI services, you definitely have the capability of using the Intel instances under the hood to get you access to that pre-optimizations that we have done for you to help you with that performance benefit. And if you went to AWS Marketplace today and entered Intel or searched for Intel, that will also give you access to the pre-optimized libraries as well as containers that can help you, again, plug and play into your training, inference, ML or DL journey. I have been working through the team and the theme of collaboration. So if you have use cases today that fall under those criteria or those factors that I talked to you about, that fall under those categories or the industries that I talked to you about, or follow under the category of what you need for AI to do for you to drive that right insight, come over to the Intel and AWS teams that you typically work with. 
our engagement journey is pretty much fourfold. We start with identifying and understanding the business challenges that our customers or partners deal with or face. Then we go out and build POCs or a better experience for you based on the data sets that you might have. Then we go out and obviously also provide you training for your developers, for your IT analysts, for your system integrators, for your partners to help them understand how specifically for your environment, for your business challenge and for your, your use case, how you're gonna build that journey of continuous AI development that is powered by Intel as well as AWS. We have a team of engineers that are CSAs or cloud solution architects that work with AWS's engineers, as well as your partner or your engineers to help you provide that extra support that is required from an optimization perspective, because no one will know how to optimize our hardware better than us. So you could actually take access as well as advantage of the Intel extended team. There's various examples, various ways in which you can actually go out and learn more about this. But really the stepping stone to all of this is industry success and the business value that this journey will help you with. You can obviously keep attending the summits as well as the programs that Intel sponsors at the AWS sessions. We will continue to always have a theme around AI because Intel has moved to being a very, very intense data centric company. And it's really about how you can use the power of compute to be able to demystify the data towards insight that we want to help you with. So participate in our programs. If you do have various um, use case challenges, do come over and listen to sessions like these. You can also go over to the AWS marketplace and get access to the pre-optimized libraries and frameworks that I talked about. And some of the really great success stories are also highlighted here. I have a few that I will walk you through. We also make sure that we get you access to a partner ecosystem that are competent and have built their offerings around making AWS AI come to life on Intel. You see a few that you might recognize, but we're very happy to bring in a better understanding and a more collaboration effort from you your partners in this ecosystem as well. So it would be amazing to get this journey started for you guys, whether you're customers, partners, developers, scientists, or just practitioners of AI. As I mentioned, I'd like to touch on a few success stories where AI actually made a change and a life to either an industry or a business or actually citizens of the world. So some of the really uh, amazing case studies is the work that we did with the University of Adelaide, where we helped analyze three terabytes of plant breeding data to help with better study and research on the diversity of wheat. This is a very important use case in terms of agriculture for a lot of companies as well as countries. University of Adelaide already has a recipe that can be shared across various industries where analyses of large amounts of data is a necessity. The second is in the, the English Helper. English Helper is an amazing learning portal. And along with them, we have maintained the way in which you can use the re read to me as well as the right to read for having teachers continue their English learning or English teaching journey from the grade of K all the way to 12. So amazing enhancements with multi-sensory technologies that are again powered by Intel and AWS. The work that we've done with CSIRO, which talks to you about the kind of work that needs to happen from a research perspective for space. We have managed to help really drive down a 60X performance benefit for identifying parallel wild simu wildfire simulations to mitigate the impact of bushfire simulations as well as bushfires in Australia. The work that we did with University of Sydney actually helped to build very fast ML models on genomic sequencing for endangered species. The work that we've done with Fractal AI helped build over 100 dashboards for situational awareness as well as 
government as well as citizen safety at the time of pandemic, at the time of COVID, which hasn't left. And now this is a platform and a solution that is now built to scale for building stronger healthcare models for countries. The work that we did with Graymatics on building an AI solution with Intel software, as well as AWS solutions, are actually helping you identify, detect, and respond in real time for any problems that Singapore coastline has. So these are amazing success stories, but these are also stories that are recipes and libraries that could be plugged and played into any industry that's out there. It's not necessary that it needs to be government or public sector. These can be plugged and played because these are business challenges from a data insights perspective that can be also replicated across the industry as well as the commercial organizations. To drill down a little bit into life impact caused by AI is the work that Thorn um, has put together. So Thorn is a nonprofit organization that has built a technology portal called Spotlight that helps find more human trafficking. And with the power of Intel and AWS, they are able to find these victims of human trafficking 46% faster. So when there was a time where they could identify 5,000 children that were victims of sex trafficking, we are now with the platforms and technologies that Intel and AWS are optimized on, whether it's SageMaker, whether it's recognition, and the work that C5 as well as the M5 series have helped optimize, we're able to identify 45,000 more student children that are victims of sex trafficking. With the critical time saved of over 65% that was powered by Intel processors on Amazon EC2, as well as the applied AI services, we were able to identify over 20,000 victims. We were able to identify over 6,000 children and over 7,000 traffickers. Empowering law enforcement to collaborate beyond jurisdictions could never be more impactful without a technology like AI and the collaboration of AWS as well as Intel. Another great customer reference or success story is the work that we've done with Peak.ai for Foot Asylum, which actually helped boost sales with an AI-based customer personalization to the impact of 8,400%. Really, it's about the collaboration, the data sets, the capabilities and openness that that use case actually has. But with Peak and Foot Asylum that leveraged AWS as well as the Intel powered instances, this specific use case dramatically increased the return of ad spending. For you in the consumer world, in the media world, in the advertisement world, this is literally a perfect recipe or a library book that you could read to help you with the performance you need from your ad campaigns and your customer outreach potential. This all comes to life with machine learning and deep learning with inference and training on AI. Another amazing use case is the work that we did with Coven, which is the cloud native citizen scale platform for planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluating COVID-19 vaccinations in India. Today, the scale is supporting over 25 million Indian citizens with their vaccinations on a daily basis. AWS, with the Ministry of Health, got together with a whole set of services and platforms from AWS, whether it was CloudFront, whether it was API Gateways, or it was DynamoDB, with the Intel-powered instances under EKS, as well as EC2, um, we were able to build, in a matter of three months, a strong platform that actually made 2 billion citizens safe and continue to keep them safe and vaccinated and ready for travel across the world through this platform. This is now also poised to be the future of health. And these types of impact that AI-based services that are powered by AWS and Intel actually help you realize the impact of technology on everyday citizens and everyday lives. Another great use case is in the world of education, where we work with English Helper to improve English literacy and create better learning outcomes with platforms like Write to Read and Read to Me. 
Again, these are AI-based platforms that are learning and knowledge portals, as well as platforms that along with the collaboration of universities, of schools, and educational organizations, bring English literacy to life, power teachers and students with the capability of continuing their learning on various languages across India, as well as something that could be replicated across the world. This is a success story of Havana, as well as our CPU-based instances. The work that we did with Intel 3 Dat, which is an Intel organization that is built towards driving success stories around athletic help, athletic health, as well as healthcare. We actually worked on advancing the understanding of human motion that were powered by the DL1 instances on AWS EC2. This platform actually helped provide the 32% better price and performance on the Habana Gaudi DL1 instances on AWS EC2, which actually helped monitor the health of athletics, monitor the health and capability and readiness of athletes to go out on field and win those amazing games, as well as challenges for national platforms, as well as international platforms. The information about the journey that we took from developing the trading models, the 3D models, to driving the training and inference is right behind you. And we would love to see how we can convert this into a contingent worker safety capability or healthcare analyses for you in the industries. We are super excited about the DL1 instances that are available on AWS EC2 today. And we also have endorsements from our customers and partners that are providing as well as using AI as a strong technology to advance their future of business, if we can call it that. Whether it's Seagate or it's Fractal or it's Lados, you could see that the need for performance, the need for a drop in price to making AI more effective, more scalable, more agile, more current is never before because of the deluge and the capability that data can bring to you for your insights with a technology like AI. I would now like to draw your attention to our favorite video, the Intel and AWS Better Together story. There is nothing more representative when you've got our customers and our partners, as well as our, my favorite partner, AWS, talking about how two technologies between Intel and AWS are making people better together, are making technology better together, and industry and the world better together. Let's have a look. It's been over a decade since AWS and Intel began our journey together. We have combined the depth and breadth of AWS cloud services with the performance and dependability of Intel custom processors so our customers can build tools for the fast growing future. Together, we're making technology more accessible by optimizing our global infrastructure. And we're reinventing the capabilities of data and analytics with powerful AI through an engineering collaboration that pushes the boundaries of innovation. But it wasn't these ideas that changed the world. It's how AWS customers use these innovations to bring their own ideas to life. It's how Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center can analyze data from more than 15,000 biological samples. A process that previously took seven years of compute time now takes just seven days. It's how the Australasian Wildlife Genomics Group at the University of Sydney can support conservation efforts of native wildlife by reducing genomic analysis time from 10 days to five hours. It's how Europe's delivery hero shortened their monthly billing runs, a 20-hour task down to 90 minutes. And we're excited because this is only the beginning. Today, AWS and Intel are working together to put our most advanced technologies into your hands so you can think bigger, build better, and innovate faster. Whether it's tomorrow or 10 years down the road, we can't wait to see what you do next. And so to summarize, keeping in mind the ring of services that AWS have, we want to ensure that number one, we maintain a close collaboration 
with our partner AWS. And that has really helped resulted in best in class end user experience and customer successes like the stories that I shared with you. The instance types with the best TCO on Intel to accelerate customers' applications across a variety of workloads is available to you on AWS EC2 that are powered again by Intel. And we also have existing solutions that are available for deployment for learning for many more successful outcomes that can help you deliver high performance as well as the cost savings you need for your organization, for your company, or for your industry. I promised you a mechanism for you to engage with this entire knowledge base that I literally shared with you. Whether it's to learn, whether it's to explore, or whether it's to engage AI on Intel with AWS, there's three ways that you're going to be able to do this. A, learn. Go to amazon.com slash Intel, and you'll be able to see a whole lot of the representation that I have in my slide today about the ways in which we can help you across the various workloads, specifically to AI, and the type of success stories across industries that have dri driven impact and value for AI coming to life. Second, explore. You now know the Intel-powered instances on AWS EC2 today that are available for AI, whether it's your AI or it's AWS's applied AI services or AWS's native or cloud AI services, there's Intel-powered instances that are going to help you through that journey. So test it out and practice. And last but not the least, we invite you to engage with us. Contact your Intel as well as your AWS representatives to get you access to everything that I talked about, to get you access to the instances, to get you access to the optimizations, to get you access to our engineers, to help you on that journey to make your industry and make your use case work. At the end, I really hope that you guys invite as well as join us on the journey that Intel has as a global mission. Our mission from an Intel perspective is to create world-changing te technology that impacts and touches the life of every person on Earth. Technology like AI and cloud computing on AWS is going to make this possible. So come along with us on this journey. Come along with us on our transformation. Come along with us to make AI actually make a change for each and every one of you. In addition to everything that I just said, please make sure that you complete the session survey. Your feedback means a lot to us. We would love for you to give us feedback and also tell us what more would you like me to come back to you and talk to you about, whether it's AI, compute, or even Intel. Talk to us about that. So please do fill out your session survey. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you found this session valuable. I hope you found this educational. And again, invite you to start and begin or continue your journey with Intel on AWS. I'm Akanksha Balani, the Alliance Lead for AWS at APJ, as well as the AI GTM Lead for Team AWS. I wish you a good day.